The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the company that will literally sell you cardboard comes a franchise so colorful and wholesome that you didn't even realize it was tricking you into thinking menial labor was fun. Animal Crossing. Step into the idyllic township of Animal Crossing and become the only living human in a world of anthropomorphic animals where you'll carve out a slice of the quiet life for yourself by picking fruit, making friends, and just generally being a nice person. In one of the rare video games that doesn't rely on your ability to kill everything that moves, unless Blather snaps and goes on a murder spree, this guy is definitely hiding something. Live the quiet, simple life, Animal Crossing style, where you grab everything you can get your greedy orb-like hands on as you pick fruits and flowers, catch bugs, dig for fossils, fish for, uh, fish, and sell everything that isn't nailed down. To pay off the enormous loan your evil raccoon landlord saddled you with at the beginning of the game, then add a small expansion to your tiny house and start the horrible cycle of debt all over again. In the cutest parable about the evils of capitalism since Monopoly, Comrade KK says, keep it cool and seize the means of production. Get ready to game in real time as Animal Crossing ties everything in the game to the real world clock. With day to night cycles, actual holidays, and events in the game tied to the time and date, which all sounds pretty neat, until you realize you've run out of stuff to do until it's actually tomorrow in real life. What am I gonna do now? Take a walk in the actual outdoors or something? This is bull Nintendo! Customize your town and your own image, decorate your home with treasures you've collected, and invite your friends to explore your masterpiece. Then check out the creations from the community, from lavish mansions that will make you feel terrible at Animal Crossing, to nightmarish creations that will haunt your nightmares. Ugh. Experience the camaraderie of Animal Crossing's village community, as you get to know your host of adorable animal neighbors and discover their unique quirks, and collect your favorite villagers to create the ideal city of furry friends. Then find a character that you don't like, and force them to leave by treating them like shit until you finally have your perfect digital township. Then immediately get bored and put the game down for six months. And when you finally boot it up again, get ready for a city filled with weeds and pointed guilt trips. In a gaming experience specifically designed to make you feel awful, this game even yells at you for trying to reset. Just let me play it my way, Dad! Discover Nintendo's best attempt to ruin one of its most beloved franchises as they move from full-on sequels to half entries that are missing most of the features to a mobile version that sucks out all of the fun and charm and replaces it with animals that refuse to be your friend unless you give them a bunch of stuff then won't come over until you buy a specific set of matching furniture that you'll have to grind for and then wait for in a blatant attempt to get you to spend your hard-earned cash on making their game fun seriously at least try to hide it a little better so stack up those bells and arrange that furniture in a wholesome experience that proves that games don't have to be challenging to be fun. They just have to fill the empty void inside of you with tedious busy work. Happy fruit picking! Starring Scruff McGruff, Llama Lovers, Huseum Curator, KK Slide into the DMs, Kid Chameleon, The Only Good Part of Pocket Camp, Heckin' Good Pupper, Mr. Save Your Game, Satan who is the devil, and that guy from Smash Brothers, Animal Farm. Remember when Animal Crossing games had entire other games inside of them? Nowadays they'd probably make you pay $60 and send a vial of your blood to Nintendo headquarters. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. I'll tattle a tale that is terribly true, started out as a rumor but suddenly grew. As you can see, he is a murderer, he just killed my phone. You challenge, Makoa. Zelda is a boy and you play as him.